Hello all. So I got asked the question, uh, how do you use an OBD2 scan tool? So I thought I'd make a quick video on it and uh, show you how you could do it. It's pretty easy to do. First of all, you're going to need a OBD2 scan tool. And you can get these, they get, they, you get some real low cost ones like this. this. This one's really low cost, like under 40, 50 bucks. And, uh, but they, there's some more expensive ones that could get, uh, they could do a lot more things, you know, like live data and things like this. Uh, even uh, manufacturer specific codes, but even just a low cost, uh, cheap OBD2 scan tool can be really handy. And uh, basically, it's what it's going to do is it's going to go to go to the computer, the onboard computer ECM, and it's going to read any errors that it has. So if you have an engine light on or anything like that, the computer has a code in there, and it'll give you uh, what's wrong with the engine. Like say there's a fuel injector bad, it'll be like bank one. Uh, fuel injector one bad or something like that basically to use it all you're going to do is you're going to take your scan tool and you're going to find your obd2 port and these ports are almost always underneath the underneath the driver's side uh, dashboard right here i'm inside of a 2012 corolla and so uh, there's the port right, right there and this is this way on all these corollas but it's like this on, on many vehicles sometimes it'll be up and underneath here farther so you have to look you know, because it'll be up underneath the, the, the dashboard a little more. But you find this port that looks like this, and you just plug in your scan tool. And this little scan tool, start it up. And you need to have the, the key, at least in the on position, to read. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the car on, actually. And I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, every every scan tool is gonna have a different menu system. So sometimes it'll automatically do it for you. Sometimes it won't. Um, this one is the is the low cost one, so I gotta kind of do it for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose diagnose, and it's gonna go out and connect to the car. So right now it's talking to the computer onboard computer, the ECM, and it's reading codes. And I don't have no engine light on or nothing, so I'm not gonna have no codes. So as you can see, it has zero codes and I could scroll down and you could even, you could read the codes. If you have a code, you can erase them, but uh, sometimes that's not a good idea. At least write them down before you do that. Uh, so this, this scan tool has got like IM readiness, which is for, uh, for emissions, uh, data stream, freeze frame, which is what freeze frame will pop up. Like, like if you get an error with something, so you have an error code that the, the computer will store like what all the sensors were doing and everything with the freeze frame. So that's, that's handy to have. And the O2 sensor tests, you know, that's good for emissions too, but that's basically it. So if you go out and you just click down, like read codes, go ahead and select read codes. See if there's any code. This vehicle has no fault code, so it doesn't have any codes I can show. But if it did, it would pop up. It would show up a number like P0112 or something like that, and it would give you a short description of what it is. But then what you do is you get online and you Google that code number and your vehicle, and you'll find out what the you'll get more information on the problem. Usually that the, it'll kind of direct you, but if you read online like in forums and things like that, it'll give you a lot more detailed information on how what you have to do to fix the car. So that's basically it. That's just a real quick overview of how you use an OBD2 scan tool to read uh, error codes with your vehicle. If you have any questions, uh, ask me below and I'll try to answer them. Uh, but that's basically it. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.